mechanisms to prevent fallouts amongst founders. Quite often, we see founders allocating equity without accounting for the following situations. A co-founder decides to leave early. A co-founder is forced to leave early. A co-founder has to scale down his commitments. When this does happen, the remaining co-founders then look for us for mechanisms to claw back shares given to the retiring co-founder. But by then, they could be unpleasantly surprised that there may or may not be any basis to request that the shares be transferred back to you or the company. This is what we think can help. 1. Incorporate a vesting schedule. The vesting schedule essentially sets out the time and performance milestones that have to be met before X percentage of shares can vest. If any milestones are not met, the vesting schedule then sets out an objective basis through which the company can either request the transfer of certain shares back. 2. Measuring sweat against performance. Different co-founders play different roles, and finding a way to measure different contributions objectively could be helpful. For example, the BD guy's performance could be measured against sales, and the CTO's performance could be measured against his design timelines and standards. 3. We mean business. Finally, communicating to your co-founders that you mean business kinda helps. Whilst many startups begin as side hustles, it could be useful to lay out some ground rules like the number of hours of commitment per week, no conflict rule, no bad-mouthing rule. Don't be that guy that was taken for a ride. Be smart about it.